My parents are insisting on having music and a mixed gathering for my wedding. Am I sinning if I ruin my relationship with them over this? Alhamdulillahi Rabbil Alameen, lahu alhamdu alhasan wa thanau aljameel wa ashadu an la ilaha illallah wa ahaduhu la sharika lah. Yaqul alhaqa wa huwa yahdi al-sabil wa ashadu anna muhammadan abduhu wa rasooluh. Sallallahu alayhi wa ala alihi wa ashabihi wa attabi'ina lahum bi ahsanin ila yawm al-deen amma ba'd. It's without a doubt that which your family members are trying to do is muharram. It is haram without a shadow of a doubt. And it's not something you should accept from them or it's not something you should be pleased with as well. Because this is something that angers Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. So I advise you to do the following steps inshallah ta'ala in order to uh, counter this issue uh, with wisdom and in the most appropriate way. The first one, the first point is that you advise them in good and that you clarify the Islamic ruling regarding this matter and that this is something that angers Allah wa ta'ala and this is something that if they do, the wrath of Allah wa ta'ala would descend on them and you clarify that to them uh, al karim. If that doesn't then work, okay, then search for someone who's smart from the family member, uh, who's clever, who is is also someone uh, you think good of and also the family members think good of uh, and there's khair in that person clarify the issue to them maybe Allah wa ta'ala through this person's effort and hard work they might be able to convince your family members and the issue might come to an end because of that if that then doesn't work okay then maybe bring a scholar a person of knowledge in the community that they will also respect or they will feel shy to even want to do anything bad after they he, he or, uh, or even she advises them person of knowledge in the family or even if it's outside the family but someone within the community who's got knowledge and they respect sometimes some people are shy to to do something after the sheikh has told them to do the opposite if that then doesn't work and they persist then i would definitely tell you not to accept it from them and uh, to not even participate in such an act allah wa ta'ala he tells us in the quran Fala taq'udu ma'ahum. do not sit with these people who do these munkarat and don't sit in these places where these evil things are done innakum idha mithluhum if you do it and you sit with them then you're like them also the prophet told us in the famous hadith man ra'a minkum munkaran so you have to at least if you physically can't stop it verbally you can't stop it you should hate it in your heart by hating it in your heart means you do not participate in such gatherings and in such places Wallahu al-musta'an wa ilayhi al-mushtaka wa alayhi tuklan subhanaka Allahumma bihamdih ashadu an la ilaha illallah astaghfiruka wa atubu ilayhi